for giving me the opportunity to describe the uh, previous project uh, for sports analytics. Here is the main uh, sports analytics uh, code, and uh, there are two different elements into it. One is to set the players and set the starting position, blocking position, and serving position to understand how a team will perform in a in in any kind of a sports. I'm going to demonstrate that. And another element is that. We have extracted and scrapped the social media data from different social media platforms, including uh, YouTube, uh, Daily Motion, Twitter, X, so all sort of uh, social media platforms. So each and every platform has a different type of um, uh, arrangements or data structures, so uh, data formats. So we need to clean and uh, pre-process the data to be uh, using that for that GPT interactions. Basically, what we are trying to do with this element is that we collate all the social media data to understand the sentiments around a particular team, ChatGPT. Let me show you the demo of um, of this. So this is a streamlit application, which is a web application. This is how uh, we are going to run, and I'm going to run this at the moment. It's going to run it on the on the local host with a host uh, with the port number eight five zero one. Yeah, as long as uh, you see this image running, then it is running behind the scenes and. Uh, this is the second element, um, and it's going to pop up the first element as well uh, regarding the sentiment analysis and crowd sentiments towards a particular team. So this is an NBA uh, data set where we collect this data from Sports Analytics API. You can see season, team one, team two, and the event date. So these are the two teams that's going to play on the day, the 5, 10, 20, 23. And it's from the season 2023 to 2024. So this download data as CSV will have the opportunity to download the data uh, as we collect from this sports analytics API. So once you download, you can able to open the file and see what, what's the team playing uh, for the particular season. So this is all the collated data from the sports analytics API. So moving back, to the dashboard again. Uh, this is a social media uh, sentiment analysis. We have different sort of sentiments uh, towards a particular. So if a tweet is positive or negative or neutral, not only tweets, but also the YouTube comments and everything. So what people are talking about it, what sentiment uh, people is uh, having towards a particular uh, team or player. So I'm going to list only the positive sentiments. So this Sorry. So this is a neutral sentiment, as you can see. And uh, if we select the positive sentiment, it's all going to show you all the positive sentiments uh, that we collected uh, from the data set. So similarly, if we scroll down, we can also um, filter only the positive sentiments or negative. Whatever selection we are making, we can download that as a CSV. Sentiment. Uh, so there are two types of um, libraries, social searcher sentiment. They already collate and have the sentiments aligned for that particular uh, text. So uh, that is one type of uh, library which uh, shows this type of uh, representation. For example, it's 68.5% uh, neutral sentiments and 24.3% positive and 717 uh, uh, is a negative sentiment. So once I had another library. This is uh, the text blob library. Most people commonly use this for sentiment analysis or all the natural language processing tasks. Negative. And uh, text blob sentiment uh, distribution. Uh, so you can see this. Uh, this is a number of counts uh, in that particular uh, category. For example, neutral sentiment, it has 6,615 texts that are of uh, neutral type, whereas uh, 5,000 65 are of uh, positive sentiments and 2,333 of uh, negative sentiments. Um, these are top uh, 10 most common key keywords um, that we have collated from the data set. Uh, the first uh, one is the most commonly used word is NBA, and it occurred 1,522 times in the data set. Similarly, word cloud, so you can able to see which, which word is frequently used. So the bigger the word, the most commonly it is used. And the smaller the word, less uh, frequently it has been used in the social media data. And uh, consolidated uh, sentiments. So this, uh, this one has all the social media data, including, uh, as you can see, you can see the Twitter uh, sentiments and also that should be YouTube comments as well. Daily Motion, that's another platform. And um, 
as we scroll down so i collated every data from different platforms and put that in a consolidated list uh, from different platforms so once uh, we scroll down we can able to see the youtube so this is a youtube uh, comments that we have received from youtube uh, api this is a main part but now we can question the chat gpt i have some common questions that is listed you can ask any question about this particular data set to chat gpt so i'm going to use some sample questions which i have already used yeah so what was the sentiment of for the game between the golden state warriors and the los angeles lakers the chat gpt will get all the social media data pre processed screened text and uh, it will answer accordingly from the data overall sentiment seems to be positive and you can read the whole summary of what exactly the, the, the uh, summary of what exactly the people are talking in a more summarized way so this is another uh, element that i was talking about in which we can able to set the team name and also there are a list of themes so the purpose is that we are going to simulate the uh, game by setting the team and the players and also the players uh, serving position blocking position and uh, attacking position let me just uh, these are the list of teams that are stored in our database and uh, this is a second team uh, we can choose any teams and it's going to select those team as a current players or current teams and um, we can uh, increase or decrease the number of uh, games uh, so at least one game we need to uh, give the number of games to simulate so when i click on edit player data it's going to show us the players in that particular team for example team 1 may be having two players so the, the the player name is cherif and the another player name is ahmed so for each player we have a success point no point failure percentage success percentage no point percentage the, these are the terminologies that they use in uh, beach uh, volleyball i think be beach volleyball and i'm going to i can able to increase or decrease it uh, based on our uh, assumptions this is going to simulate the game um, so it's running so this is for player chef cherif similarly you can set uh, for player ahmed as well sorry there are three separate categories one for serving data and one for blocking data and one for uh, attacking data for each of the players again this is the first team and you, you can also edit the, the second team as well so this is uh, another team and another set of players so similarly you can set it and after setting this one after uh, giving that uh, individual uh, percentage of uh, the serving and blocking position we can just uh, save that uh, settings and we can also close this one once we have set it we are just closing the window so that it will hide everything so this has now saved the uh, settings already and i'm going to start the game this is going to simulate four different games with uh, different uh, teams and different players so here is a winner jer jer and qat and qat so for the first two games it's going to be ger as a winner and third and fourth it's going to be um, qat as winner so as you can see the main purpose of this game is to place the player in different positions to understand who will win so once we get that this is go can be used for uh, betting so that's the main purpose of the game uh, of this uh, project um we can also add player names for example team uh, new yeah just a new team dynamite give my name and you see the another player name and we can set success per percentage and similar to what we have done but this one is for new players so once we add the uh, necessary uh, settings here overall attack position for all the positions attack position for position 8 and uh, and so on uh, we can add the team so once we add the team we'll get the new team has been added to the data set so once we uh, reload it again then we may able to see the data added for example i'm going to load this one load this again so that we get the recent new team that has been added and also new uh, players we have added in that particular team so this is a new team uh, new dynamite and we have another team uh, let it be an you know or this is going to show us four records who is going to win in each uh, each and every game with the positions we have 
for the term so in the four games two times team uh, new dynamite is going to win and sw and uh, wins uh, for the next two times we can able to save this results into the file so once we save the data to file we can have that data in our which is stored in volleyball game results so in this we have four games and in the four games um, first game uh, sw will be the winner for second and third qa team new dynamite and uh, fourth one will be sw so this is what we have created for my previous client i look forward uh, to the next um, uh, projects with you and i look forward to working with you thank you